Uh, good afternoon, Husky Parents. Mrs. Kilpack here. Um, just trying to get you a video and some information out um, to kind of clear, hopefully provide some clarity on how things um, in the school are going to be running over the next few weeks and, um, and to give you some insight about uh, the direction we're going as far as remote learning is concerned. Um, let's first talk, talk about the remote learning that will be happening. So from the district, they have told us um that to plan on about 40 minutes for each content area that will be 40 the 40 minutes will include instruction practice and independent work for the kids and then we the areas we are going to be focusing on are in math reading writing and science so the kids will have up to 40 minutes in each one of those content areas um, to do some homework in uh, what that will look like is each teacher will be sending home, um, will be emailing you by 9 o'clock or 9.15 um, every single morning. And the first email that you'll have, it will be a checklist of everything that they need to do. And then um, at the end of the day, when those all those checklist items are done, then you or the student will reply back to the teacher to let them know that everything is finished for that day. If assignments and other items are not done during that day, then they will go in as um, missing into the computer or into other, to whatever the checklist the teacher has. And we will treat that kind of as a day that students missed or as if they were absent at school. So please make sure that, um, you know, that students are doing the work that the teachers are sending home because they're putting in a lot of effort and working really hard to try to make this work. Um, you should be receiving feedback on your students homework and assignments and so um, and there should be some open communication between you and the teacher if that is needed. Most um, oh and in that to-do list they'll have specific links and login information for any apps or any digital programs that the students will be using. Most students will be asking, accessing the digital platforms through iClever, which is something that they should be familiar with. Um, but if not, attached to this email that I am sending out are directions on how to access iClever, and there's also directions on our webpage. Um, just a little bit of information concerning if your students are in resource. Um, so you will be getting two emails, one from your um, regular ed teacher and one from your resource teacher. Now, if your student is in um, resource for math and um, Mrs. Richards sends home some math homework, but you also get some math homework from Mrs. Facer, you are only required to do the math homework from Mrs. Richards. That's only if you are in resource or have Miss Richards as a teacher. Um, so if you have some questions concerning that, please email your teachers or email Ms. Richards to see if that involves your child. Um, some things as far as accessing the building. Um, so we are open um, to students for a couple different reasons. We are open for food. So if you have students that would like to come in and have breakfast and lunch, then they are able to come. Um, lunch will be served from 1130 to 12 and then breakfast will be served um, from 8.30 to 9. And um, just regular fees apply for that. But in the email I sent below, there is a little survey that you can let us know how many kids will be coming for this week and for next week for brunch, for breakfast and lunch so we can prepare for that. And those, um, and that will be a grab and go um, lunch or breakfast and so they'll come grab it and then they'll be asked to leave and they can eat those at home or on the way home. Um, the other two time, the other reasons why we would um, allow people into the building is for educational access. So let me explain what that is. If you um, need to use our computer lab because you do not have internet at home, um, we have a computer lab that will be open for kids from 830 to 1230 every day. We just ask parents that you call, make an appointment with our secretaries to let us know what time your student will be coming. And then that way we know they're coming and we will buzz them and let them in. If we do not, if they do not have an appointment, then we will not be able to let them in. So please make sure to let the office know if we have some kids that need to come and use the computer lab to solely work on the homework that's given to the teachers. Um, again, that's just to help us regulate who is in the building and how many people are in the building and to keep everybody safe. 
The second um, way is if you need to get some individualized tutoring or some help with some of the homework assignments, um, you, are, you are able to come in and meet with your teacher to get some tutoring help. Um, however, you will need to set up an appointment with that teacher and, um, and then that teacher will let the office know that you are coming and then we would let you in. So we will not be letting kids or parents come in unless you have an appointment. So please make sure you're contacting the teacher or you're contacting the um, office to let them know why you're coming in so that we can control who's coming in and out. We do ask, you know, this is, you know, to honor the governor's request in keeping kids out of the building or coming and meeting together um, in large groups. So please, as much as possible, keep your children home. As far as IEPs, if we have special ed IEPs or meetings like that, we will continue those as normal because that's a green and maybe five people or less. So we will be getting information about that if that involves your child as well. If you need to meet with our counselor or our school psychologist, <coughs> please call the office and we will make appointments um, for that to happen as well. As far as device checkout goes, so on Wednesday, we have devices that we are going to check out to our teach, I mean, to our um, students so that they will be able to work um, remotely on their um, homework. So we have plenty of laptops for students um, third grade to sixth grade. And so if you would like to have a checkout device, we are able to provide them a one-to-one -one technology if that is something you would like to take home. Or if you just want, if you have three kids and you only want one device, or you only want them to use your device, that is completely up to you. Um, but we have plenty of laptops for children grades three through sixth grade. Now we have iPads. We're planning on having iPads for kids kindergarten through second grade, and we do not have enough of those to go one-to-one. -one. So if you have an iPad at home, hopefully the kids can use that. Um, if you have multiple kids in grades K, first, or second, we ask maybe that we only give you one iPad for and let those kids rotate so we can just try to spread them out as much as possible. In the email that I'm sending there is a link um, that lets us know about who will be checking out devices and which devices you'll be checking out. So if you could take that by today or at least by the end of tomorrow then that would help us know and gauge how many people will be coming into getting devices. What device checkout looks like um, is we are going to do a staggered schedule according to last name. So this is also listed in the email that I'm sending, but um, it's kind of we've kind of mixed up the last name because we're trying not to conflict with other junior highs and high schools in the local area. So if your last name is Q through Z, so we're starting at the back end of the alphabet, you will come on Wednesday from 8.30 to 9.15. Again, that's from 8.30 to 9.15 to check out an iPad or an, um, a laptop. And don't forget to take the survey to let us know about that. Now, if you have a last name A through G, you will come from 9.15 to 10.30. And if you are H through P, you'll come from 10.30 to 11.15. So those are all times that you'll be able to come in. And what you will do is you will enter through the activity doors the activity room doors and we'll check out the devices in there and then you will exit through those same doors. We will not um, need anybody to be walking through the building. Everybody will just be there in the activity room and then head out as soon as they get their devices. So again, if you could take that survey so we kind of have a heads up of how many people will come, that would be great. I think that is all the information I have for right now. Um, we are so thankful for the wonderful community that we live in and I have to say um, our teachers, there's been a lot um, expected and asked of our teachers and they are taking it and being positive and working really hard to try to give the best um, curriculum that they can for your student. A lot, you know, doing remote learning is a stretch for some of them and they're doing it gracefully and they are just very still concerned about your students. So um please let us know kindly if there's ways we can try to make it better or do something different but again this is a little bit of a learning curve for them and they are working extremely hard to make sure that things are clear and concise and still provide learning for all of you um this is you know this is a different time we haven't had anything like this over in over 100 years in our country um but i think we get through this um, through much humanity and compassion for each other. And um, we are very, you know, we are here to help wherever we need it. So if you even need help educationally, we're here. But if there's anything that 
um, you have any other needs that you might need or your family needs, please let me know and I will do my best to help um, meet those needs. So if you have any questions, please shoot me an email and um, we will be getting back to you. And then if I get any more information, I will let you know. Thank you so much.